Yo, 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 what up, what up? It's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you a new KBO run-through for the games tonight, the 4 a.m. Eastern Time games. Uh, I don't know what time the games are where you're from, but I'm guessing they're probably late, but I hope you're enjoying your Friday night, not getting into anything too crazy. Uh, the playing games, I hope you're watching those, enjoying those, and I hope you're going to win some money. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you can comment your picks, you can comment anything. I don't care what day it is, anything, comments are good to help the little channel grow a little bit to get some more of this KBO stuff out there. And that's all I got for you, so let's get them, let's get right into it. All right, we got Hanwha versus KT. Felix Pena versus Bao Jung Siong. Felix Pena, last time out, he pitched against SSG where he went five innings. Three runs, well, two of them earned. Four hits, two strikeouts, three walks. He was really good last year. I like backing him last year, but this year it looks like they got his number. Um, and then on the other side, Bao... Pitching as Lote, six scoreless innings, five hits, five walks, though. Hmm. You guys all know how we feel about them walks, right? Then up against LG, he went only three innings in relief, two hits, no walks. Hmm. So, last night the game got voided because it was a 7-7 after 12 innings. And Hanwha played really well. I was surprised by that. I thought KT was going to smoke him with Wes Benjamin on the mound. But, alright, so tonight, I don't know. We're either going to go probably over because the bullpen's got worked a lot. Or we might be going with Hanwha again. I guess Hanwha is pretty good this year, man. Maybe KT is not as good as I thought they were. Because this isn't even their best pitcher going tonight either, so... I don't know. Well, for now, that's where I'm thinking, but I'll bring you the full play after when I make the next video. Alright, next up, we got Kia and Kai Woom. For Kia, uh, Young... Whoa. Yeah, he is young. Yoon Young Chiao, which he's only 18. And for Kai Woom, we got Ariel Gerardo. Yeah, uh, Young Jing Cha, I don't think he's pitched yet. He's 18. I don't think there's any stats for him. Oh, he's born on 420. He's almost 19. Alright, anyways, he's going up against Ariel Gerada, where he had two starts, both losses once against NC for three earned runs, seven hits, seven strikeouts, three walks. Against LG, six innings, three runs, six hits, five strikeouts, no walks. So, I like, I'm looking over here, and I'm looking at Kai Woom again. Kai Woom smoked him last night, and I think they're going to smoke the 18-year-old also. Alright, so, that's where we're going there. Alright, next up, Lotte and Samsung. We got a good pitching matchup tonight, but it looks like there's some weather coming. Let's see, uncertain, unable to offer prediction at this time. Looks like it's going to be raining, so I'm not sure yet. We got for Lotte, Naganon, and Albert Suarez for Samsung. Naganon just pitched a couple great games. KT, seven innings, zero runs, four hits, one walk, eight strikeouts. That's excellent. Against Doosan, six and two-thirds, five hitter, four strikeouts, two walks. Hmm. And then Albert Suarez this year... He's kind of struggling, but against LG, he went seven innings, two runs, six hits, two strikeouts, three walks. That's more like him there. The first outing, he got smoked a little bit by NC. Three innings, only six runs, nine hits, two strikeouts, and one walk. <laughs> so, here, 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 here. I'm liking Lotte today. And I'm liking, I think I'm liking the over. I feel like Lotte is going to get to them. And I feel like Samsung will either get 
to this picture after he comes out when they put in their bullpen that's trash or something like that so I feel over for that but I think the better play is going to be Lotte money line or I can't go minus one and a half with them because their bullpen's garbage, but it looks like a little day money line probably. Alright, next up. One of my favorite pitchers in the league for NC, Ku Chang Mo. Against, oh shit, McCarty's going for SSG, huh? Kirk McCarty. Uh, Ku Chang Mo had a tough start this year, man. Against Kai Wong, four and two thirds, four runs, only two of them earned. Seven hits. He's been giving up a home run every start. So, against this SSG team, it's kind of dangerous. I hate to go against him because he might pitch a gem. And then Kurt McCarty, he got hammered the first time against Kia. Eight earned runs in three and a third innings. That's crazy. But then against Hanwha, he definitely bounced back. Six innings, zero runs, a one hitter, four strikeouts, two walks. So, I don't know, man, if Ku Chang's going to pitch good or not. I'm kind of looking at the under here. But then, I don't know, I'm thinking NC could get the McCarty. And I'm thinking SSG can get the Ku Chang. And, I don't know, it's a tough one. It's a really tough one here. So, there's a lot of ways the game could go. SSG at home is a great team, though. They were last year. And it looks like they're continuing that this year. And Kurt McCarty, he had that good game last game. And Ku Chang hasn't proven anything to us this year. If it was any other year, I would be backing him in the under right now. So, I mean, we could go under. I gotta see what the number is. But right now, whichever team's getting plus runs, I think... SSG's favorite, so maybe NC plus one and a half is probably the better play there. Yep, that's what we'll do. I'll let you guys know for sure in the next video. Alright, then we got coming up next, the last game of the night. Doosan versus LG. We got Guac Ben and Adam Pluto. Amazing pitching matchup today. We're probably going to hit the under on this game because you got Guac Ben that just went five and a third. Um, no one runs, four hits, seven strikeouts, four walks. First time against NC, seven innings pitch. No runs, two hitter, ten strikeouts. That's a beautiful game there. And then Adam Pluko still doing good like last year. First inning, five innings, zero runs, two hitter, four strikeouts. Next time against Samsung, six and a third, two earned runs, nine hits, two strikeouts, one base and ball. So Blue Bowl is hittable though. They definitely hit him last year. Black Man is also hittable, so it's a tough game. I wanted to go under here, but it's still early in the year where the hitters might get a little hot today. And I don't know, I don't think I can take Deuce on today, I think I'm probably looking at under and maybe Pluko money line, maybe LG money line. Yeah, definitely, I think the under first five is going to be the play there. As long as it's over four, if it's like four and a half or five, definitely taking the under. Alright guys, that's all my, uh, that's my run through for now. Um, I'll be back with a little parlay and picks video for you. I'll try to squeeze a little NPB in if I have time. I'm about to get out of work now. So let me get after it. Let's get them. Let's cash. Let's win that money. Let's beat the books. And let's go. Kizzle out. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. And we got some early Saturday morning KBO. Bye, yo. Peace.